Como vibe, it's the Berean, I'm bringing you some card on the one, representing the clan one god. And man, uh, the United States in turmoil right now. And I just wanted to talk about um, just what's going on. As we look at our society, I've been watching a lot of um, conspiracy theory videos. I know, I know. You say, ah, oh, they're just conspiracy theories. A lot of them have a lot of like just seems to be based on something pretty good behind it one I was watching was the fall of the United States of America and why we fallen it was done from a Christian perspective as they talked and showed how United States is falling away from God and falling to idolatry and false gods such as Islam and he showed different areas throughout the world what had happened in Islam and one lady was on a documentary she was talking about Sweden and she was talking about how she loves her nation she, her family's been there since the 1800s and she said now we have more rape you know than anywhere any place and there are, I forgot so many governed territories where police will not even go because Sharia law there takes place uh, the Islamic law takes place the Muslim law is in charge and the police are terrified even to go in there because they will get shot at instantly this is our territory and we're coming there to America man we're coming there we're getting real close um, Dearborn Michigan uh, voted four to three they lost to put in um, Sharia law so it's it's something that's coming to America it's something that if you are a born-again Christian you certainly don't want trust me if you are an atheist you don't want Sharia law you don't want Islamic law coming here and so as we look at the presidency and we're seeing Donald Trump possibly come in um, you know man people I, I didn't want Donald Trump who did who, who actually thought in their right mind, I want to vote for that person? How did he get this far? I have no idea. If you're a rationally thinking person, he's ludicrous, man. He's out there. But one thing he does do is at least speak his mind. He doesn't hold back. Um, I see that they like that in him. But he contradicts himself so much, changes what he's saying so much. Um, he hasn't made his mind up on a lot of issues. But at least he's speaking outright. He doesn't hide. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to go back on the topics. Again, I'm from Wisconsin. My pick was a Sc Scott Walker. That's who I wanted. He's an amazing man. He's turned around uh, this country, or I mean this state. Um, he's done amazing things in this state uh, for our unemployment and for our work area, for work conditions here. But. I went to Ben Carson and of course Ted Cruz and um, I really wanted Ted Cruz when it came down to it and of course he didn't make it we've got Trump but Trump is far far better than Hillary Hillary is a crook and she's communist she is at best socialist which is a form of communism it's the beginning to communism says Karl Marx um, you, you we, we if to vote we have to keep out Hillary Clinton if nonetheless put in Trump I mean Trump of course that's what we got that's what we got and I wanted to talk today about Mike Pence um we have something here called WVCY it's a radio station they have a TV station and the TV station is aired throughout the country you can get it online but they have a news program called CBN News Christian Broadcast News and it is all looking at the world from a Christian viewpoint from a biblical viewpoint and it's amazing news. They talk about things all around the world, um, things that you won't see on your regular news. They're going to show you more of a true uh, view and aspect of what's going on around the world. It's pretty cool. And I love watching their news program. I uh, hope you guys will get into it. You can catch CBN News uh, online and, and you can watch. I don't know if you can watch it, but they got the website there. You can go read their main articles as to what they're trying to um, speak and get forth to you. But um, Mike, they did a, a thing on Mike Pence, the governor of Indiana. And Mike Pence gave his testimony of coming to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's a Christian. And he is a dedicated Christian. And he's turned around Indiana. And Trump has chosen him as his vice president. Whew. So, man, there is hope. Uh, Mike Pence said he likes to wake up every day reading the Bible and praying. And um, not only that, we are seeing that um, he said that he likes to pray the prayer of Solomon in 1 Kings 3, where Solomon prayed to have knowledge, to understand good and evil, to govern this people. So we're seeing that this man is coming in with a biblical viewpoint and a biblical opinion of how the country should be run, and he's going to be vice 
president. This is huge. Um, to me, it helps out a whole lot. It changes the game for me. I'm so happy he's there, and I just pray that the Lord would um, use him in a mighty way, that he would not be sucked up by politics, but that the Lord would work through him, and we could see our country turned around uh, for Jesus Christ, man. That's it, guys, man. When you see Donald Trump, think you're voting for the lesser of two evils, because technically, man, that's what you're doing. Hillary is nuts. She's a liar. She's wicked. She's evil. She's part of the organization that's trying to take us down. Um, I, I, I go see the movie uh, Hillary Clinton um, and the, the Secrets of the Democratic Party by Dinesh D'Souza, man, and learn about them. They're they're here. They're not a joke. They're messed up. <laughs> the Democratic Party is. They want to take God out. They want to put in unrighteous laws, and they don't care how they do it. And Islamic law is going to come in. And we're through when it does, man. God bless you guys all from the one God. Praying you consider um, voting for Donald Trump. Again, he's not the, the person that he's not the person I wanted in there, but he's who we got. He's all we got. You certainly can't go with Hillary. But may the Lord bless this country. May the Lord forgive this country. In the name of Jesus Christ, may we just come back to God. Come back to God and turn from evil. Peace.